Well, good afternoon, YouTube world. How you doing? Eric from Nomadic Fanatic. Wayne from RV Prepper Wayne. Uh, down there working on the exhaust. Got a few more bolts to tighten up there with the NACs on them all. And then we'll be firing up Miranda to see if the uh, driver's side exhaust leak is gone. And we can finally move forward completely both sides from having an exhaust leak for a very, very long time. That's a good feeling. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description if you need some mobile unlimited internet. As the sun sets here for the afternoon, this has been my project, something I have been wanting to get to for a very long time. It looks like an absolute disaster, but if you guys saw what this looked like before with this whole plate that I cut in half, it was covering this whole facade. And so when the water pump went out, there was literally no access to replace that water pump right there. They wanted this all to never be accessed again. It was the strangest thing to me. They, they consider these RVs now just throw away. The water pump has a, a three year warranty. And after you hit three years, your $100,000 RV just goes to the junkyard in their opinion. There, there, was, there was no way to access it. And I've talked to other people who have this Murata of the same generation. It's very weird. Um, so I had to cut it all open and now you can see we've just got open faucets and a, a mess of stuff. And uh, Wayne and I talked, talked it, our way through it and got a bunch of shark bite and other fittings to uh, adapt this, change this. I've got some wood to build a custom display that's still going to hold everything that it has to hold. And we're going to delete a few things and make it look really, really nice, but make this functional so that you can reach inside and make some repairs to what you, you know, if there's a leak or something, it's just crazy. It's crazy what they did. I'm going to make it better. And I think a lot of other people who may have this Coachman Murata series, they may look at this and do the same it's just taken me a long time to finish the process up so i'm going to be working on that here as as it cools down and then one more fun project uh i forgot to mention that robert actually helped me with the generator on vanna white he cleaned out the carb put in a new fuel filter air filter maybe i did mention all that anyway didn't fix the problem we're still having a carburetor issue and anyway we'll we'll get to that part later uh wayne took the carb out and then put it clean it himself put it back in started spraying some stuff and he found air leaks in the carburetor so there is definitely oxygen being sucked into the carburetor and that is causing the issue so i went ahead and uh, ordered a new carburetor we couldn't find a fuel filter we couldn't find an air filter they're all out of stock but you can buy the entire carburetor kit for 34 dollars delivered in two days on amazon so that's what i got and there she is a direct replacement it's even got the altitude adjustment on there brand new carburetor filter there's the uh, gaskets so we got all new gaskets so uh, we'll be working on these three projects and uh, really really starting to knock some stuff off our list here all right wayne says it's time to fire it up out there and see what happens here so let's go uh, step outside here. Probably about the quietest I have ever heard my RV. It's running right now, guys. My RV is running with both exhaust gaskets fixed. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You might faintly hear a little bit of ticking going on over on the other side of the engine. More on that later. But uh, the exhaust leak got it all uh, torqued to spec. And uh, yeah, that's a good win. That's a good, good win. All right, just popped open the uh, trunk of the smart car here and uh, plugged the speaker wire back into the side of this one Sony 10 inch sub. <laughs> I have no idea how long I've been listening to just one sub. But uh, we're good now, tested it out. <laughs> Wayne's gonna get back on this generator. And uh, again, brand new carb here. We did notice that uh, they shorted us one of the gaskets. We only got two gaskets and the picture says we're supposed to get a third one in there, but um, it's the thicker plastic gasket spacer thing in there. We might be, we might be okay without it. We'll just have to wait and see here, but um, 
yeah we'll see if we can get this guy tuned up and get this generator finally running good all right new carb is in new gaskets and everything this is our first run here i'm gonna find out real quick there's no gas in there, but it's going to spin over before it cruises. Right, and, and this generator doesn't have the prime function that most of these do. When you hold down the stop, some, usually they would self-prime. For some reason, this generator doesn't have a self-priming, so it is going to take some time to fire up once the fuel gets in the fuel filter pass. So, so we'll give her a shot. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Tricked you. <laughs> Full of fuel. Hmm. Yep. Several hours later, Wayne is still tinkering on this thing and in the dark. He's adjusting the frequency and it's finally starting to sound better got the kilowatt in there so he's checking the hertz right now and fine-tuning some stuff here with no load on I've never heard her sound that good so that's promising there we go she's been purring like a kitten for five minutes with the air conditioner compressor staying on because I've got the furnace turned on in there so that the AC has to stay on and uh, Wayne's been adjusting a bunch of stuff on here. Like I said, she's purring and that is exactly how she's supposed to sound. Awesome. I think we got her, man. All right. All right, what's up guys? We're the only ones in the movie theater. He worked hard today, so uh, we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch a movie, a new release. Yep. Suicide Squad, oh yeah. Love these recliner seats. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. So, uh, that was interesting. The power just went out here at the theater. It was dark for like three seconds, and then the emergency lights came on. And, uh, uh we're wondering if we're, <laughs> we're gonna see the rest of the movie here. So, uh, <laughs> it's probably my fault. <laughs> it's mine. It's the first time I've been in a movie in years. Yeah, we don't know if they're gonna... Go back to the movie or not? We'll find out. Power's back on. Everything is rebooting, but um, as you can see, every single theater went down and has to reboot. And we, they haven't told us yet. <laughs> Very strange. I guess one of the nice things about base camp, at least, is that, you know, with, with a nice good roof and uh, good insulation everywhere, oftentimes you can just kind of escape from stuff like this and uh ooh, thunder and lightning uh wayne is now getting a, a really really good experience for what it's like here in this magical place in illinois that uh at times i i, I tell you guys i i have i have never in my life seen as much rain as illinois really gets and uh thunder <laughs> We still have a heat advisory for the next 48 hours, but now we have, you guessed it, a flooding advisory for the next 48 hours. This state has offered one of the most amazingly moist, wet summers. Definitely the worst, the worst. Much, much, much worse than anywhere in the Pacific Northwest where everybody says rains forever. No, Illinois rains year round nearly every single day and floods so it's, it's pretty crazy um i hate to just sit inside and play games for the next three or four days but this is a typical summer day in illinois believe it or not so we'll flood back there again of course so um i've just packed up everything and uh yeah between Wayne and I, we have five generators that work, so if the power goes out again, we should be okay, but um, it, it's, it's absolutely amazing, just amazing. I, I still don't know how you people live here voluntarily year-round. I cannot wait to leave again. 
There are places in this world that do not rain like this year round, 365 days a year. Yeah. So yeah.